Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 10, Algebraic Expressions. We're going to look at factorization of common factor. Factorization of algebraic expressions. Now, factorization is the process of writing a number or an expression as a product of its factors. It can also be seen as the reverse procedure of the distributive law. The following factorization types will be revised and new types will be introduced. We're going to look at highest common factor. We're going to look at difference of two squares. We're going to look at quadratic trinomials in the form x squared plus bx plus c. We're going to look at quadratic trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not zero. Then we're going to look at grouping and also sum and difference of two cubes. But in this video, we're going to look at the highest common factor. So taking out the highest common factor, consider the reverse procedure of the distributive law. So if you have AB plus AC and you want to reverse that, then you'll see A is common. So we take out A as a common factor. We normally divide A into AB. It gives you B and A into AC gives you C. The highest common factor A has been taken out of the expression AB plus AC and the expression is said to be factorized as the product A into B plus C. Let's look at the following example. We must factorize 15x squared plus 9x to the power 5. So the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15 and the factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. So therefore the highest common factor between 15 and 9 is 3 and not 1. Remember we are not choosing 1, we rather choose the highest one which is 3. Now if you look at the x squared and the x to the power 5, then factors of x squared are 1, x and x squared. For x to the power 5 is 1, x, x squared, x cubed, x to the power 4 and x to the power 5. So therefore the highest common factor between x squared and x to the power 5 is x to the power 2. We, again we don't choose 1, we choose x to the power of 2. So therefore the highest common factor between 15x squared and 9x to the power 5 is Therefore, then, 3x squared. Now, we can, not, we can now take out the common factor, or we also call it HEF, as follows, and thus factorize the expression by writing it as a product of factors. So, therefore, 15 is the same as 3x squared times 5, and 9 is the same like 3x squared times 3x to the power of 5. So now you can see the common factor is 3x to the power of 5. So what is left then is the 5 plus 3x cubed. You can always verify your answer by multiplying in with a 3x squared. Look at b, 15a to the power of 4, b to the power of 6, minus 3ab squared. Then the common factor is 3ab squared. Again, you can split the, the, the terms. Like 15a to the power of 4, b to the power of 6 is 3ab squared times 5a cubed, b to the power of 4. And the same with minus 3ab. It is minus 3ab squared times 1. Then you can see the common factor is 3ab squared. And take it out. And what is left in the bracket is 5a cubed, b to the power of 4, minus 1. And again, you can verify your answer. Look at C. Now we have two terms with brackets, but you'll notice the brackets are exactly the same. So therefore, the common factor is the bracket x plus y, which you then write down, and what is left is then a 2a minus a 3b. Look at the next example, x, to, x minus 1 to the power 7, minus x minus 1 to the power 4. Again, you will notice the two brackets are the same, but the common factor will be x minus 1 to the power 4. So that is then our common factor. So what is left then is another x minus 1 to the power 3 minus 1. Alternatively, we can use the so-called k method. We can say let x minus 1 be k, then replace x minus 1 with a k. And then it looks so much easier. But it's a little bit longer because now you, in the end you must reintroduce x minus 1. 
The next two examples involve the sigma change, the sign change rule, discussed in grade 9. Let's revise this rule quickly. Look at A, 3B minus 2A is the same as a 3B minus 2A with a plus in front. However, if I put a negative in front, then both the signs inside the bracket must change. So please take note of that. And then, of course, you can switch the terms now to A minus 3B. So therefore, that can be done. Look at B minus 4Y plus 7X. Again, the same here. If I take out negative as a common factor, then I have 4Y minus 7X. C, the same here. If I take out a negative, then both 5B and 2A will become positive. Now we can simplify this method by taking out a negative and changing signs. Whenever you take out a negative sign, the sign of the terms inside the brackets will be different to the sign of the terms in the original expression. Consider the following examples using the shortcut approach. Look at A, 3Y minus 9X. If I take out negative 3 as a common factor, then it becomes negative y plus 3x, which is therefore 3x minus y. So just take note of that, right? And if you look at b, minus 3y minus 6x, if you take out negative 3, then it becomes y plus 2x or 2x plus y, it doesn't matter. So in these examples, the HEF of 3 as well as the negative sign was taken out as a common factor. Let's look at the following example. 2a into 3x minus 2y plus 5b into 2y minus 3x. Then you will notice the brackets don't look exactly the same. However, I can make them the same by taking out a negative in the second bracket. Then it becomes negative 5b. Then inside the bracket, it becomes 3x minus 2y. And now 3x minus 2y is a common factor. And what is left, therefore, is 2a minus 5b. To look at number B, 3A into 5X plus Y minus minus 5X minus Y. Again, you'll notice we have a similar situation where the brackets don't look identical. However, if I change that negative into a positive in between the brackets, then 5X plus Y will happen. Then 5X plus Y is a common factor, and what is left is 3A plus 1. Right, please have a look at the exercise, work through them, please do all the examples, and on the next page I will supply you with the solutions. Good luck! Right, so there's your solution to the exercise. Please mark your work and double check whether you can do this. All the best! Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with M's. I hope that you've enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.